Welcome back to the Bar Soul Play there in the last part we got the lead from Turbo, so now we can prove ourselves that we are from Greenwood. So this, these rats will actually let us go through. So yeah, we have the lead. We now prove ourselves. Just for fun, I'm just going to equip the leads because why not? They'll still let us pass anyway. Six. More muck monsters, more leg popping enemies. Yeah, let's put the earth. Not being stupid. Time to get professional. A mole. We are releasing so many moles. They are the goats of this world, apparently. Or this area. Come on. Get stuck. Okay. And now we are cheating the system. Amazing. And release the dog. Basically you play a game with them and if you win you get an herb. It's not worth my time. Not worth anybody's time! And now we're dealing with lasers. Actually, I, I don't know if they're lasers or not. They can't hurt you, but they just become an inconvenience and block your path. Which is why you gotta defeat all these enemies. Yeah, but I had a lot of fun doing that unprofessional episode. Acting like my ditzy self in real life. Doing stuff. God, I acted like a total blonde in that episode. I mean, my gosh. And I probably should not be doing this voice because it's stupid. Well, it makes me sound stupid. I should never do a Valley Girl voice ever again, but I can't help it because it's part of my personality because as you know, I am such a blonde. That was totally stupid. That was even more stupid. We can't kill this yet. We need a special sword. And no, it's not the one that can kill invincible enemies. You know, I wish it was. I don't think it's happening lately. Um, I've been playing a lot of Zelda 2. A lot of Zelda 2. I don't know, I think I have a knack for hard games. I like a game with a challenge. I like one that I can get killed easily on. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I like a good challenge in game. I guess that's the problem with modern games these days, to hold your hand. What? Thank you. I keep dodging all the time. Come on, don't. There. Uh, just a grid like format. <laughs> and I load up. That's nice. It 
here, dude. How you doing? Uh, is there something up there? Let me check. Oh, yep, yeah, there's someone up there. More fire dudes. And we're released. A squirrel. Oh, that was cheap. And now, here's the reason why we need the mole. For the light, it is completely dark, and we will not see clearly without it. It would be a friggin' nightmare. You know, it's funny that I'm actually saying it's a nightmare because technically it's Halloween when I'm recording this. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Pretty weird. We released a crocodile. And now we can do something with that deer. And it's very important that we do. Now, now we can do something really important because there's an item that we need, or if you want to get it, it helps if you get it for the boss that's coming up. Stop. Follow me. Stand back and watch. And one's hand to the tree, which we can't help. Anyway, this fairy will tell us about the master emblem. There are eight different emblems we can actually collect, and if we get all of them, we can use magic without using any gems, which would be nice. I won't be able I'll tell you right now that I might not be able to get all eight of the gems because I don't remember where they are, but there's one green wood that we can easily get, and that's by talking to the squirrel. Master Emblem C. Alright, how about we talk to that mall right there? My name is Mono. Momo. Ah, can't talk right. Alright, we gotta leave her back to the hole. 
Yeah, I gotta lead her back to home. Um, if I remember correctly, it's probably the middle one, right? Oh, no, no, it's not. Wait, is it the left one? Thanks, truck type move five. Thanks. I don't know if you heard that one. Then I look really stupid, or sounded really stupid. And I got the mole's ribbon. Alright, now that we have the room, we can go to this mall. That's one mall's ribbon. Alright, I will move. They just disappear. Because he's a ghost! You know, if this was uploaded on Halloween, this would probably be spooky. And probably make more sense. Anyway, we have the shield bracelet. Which basically half the damage we take, and if you really, really having trouble with that boss about the phase, it's gonna be useful if we have that equip. How about we go back and fight that boss? I was dealing with these heads, of course. Going ahead of death. Appreciate that. Anyway, here is our second boss fight. There's a head! No wait, there's two heads! No wait, there are three heads! We have to fight! Watch out for the lightning. Try and get like in between those things. It's simple and easy, and then we destroy that first head. How about the second head where it just spits goo at you? I'm trying to sound this really hype and stuff. Alright, get this circle around you. And then there's a the third head that spits fire! And it's supposed to follow you, but. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Wow, this, this fight is easier than I actually remember it to be. Huh. Weird. Anyway, we release the Wood Guardian. Which is basically a tree with a face on it. And we immediately talk to the Guardians of the Wood. So, at least you can do is just turn around. He is talking to you. And yeah, how appropriate. We get the green stone from Greenwood. I hope you like green, because there's more green. Anyway, now we can move on to the next area. Where we're We'll be exploring Water World. That just case out Water World. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, though. Peace out. I say peace out. That's stupid.